Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to add space into our document and we shall experiment with horizontal and vertical spacing. By default, the document is single spaced. We can increase the spacing by one and a half or double using these commands. Set space package is used for this purpose. If you want to set the spacing of the entire document or switch to a particular spacing, then we use single spacing, one half spacing and double spacing commands. For setting the space for only a certain part, then we use environment. Let us see a demo. I have some content written here. Let us add set space package and double space our document. Slash use package set space slash double spacing. We will then run. That is it. Double spacing is generally used by proofreaders to proofread the document. It is easy to mark errors and provide suggestions to the reader. Now, let us comment this out. We will then run. We get back to our original spacing. Now, let us write slash begin double space and we put these two paragraphs inside the double space environment. All right, build and run. Observe that only the first two paragraphs are double spaced. The remaining two paragraphs are single spaced. Let us get back to our slides. Sometimes there is a need to add a little bit of vertical space between the content of the document. It could be spacing between two paragraphs or to text and image or text and a table, etcetera. Well, we can do this by any of the commands given here. Let us try them one by one in the demo. Let us take a new page and write Lipson slash page break and we write slash Lipson say 2 of 2 and we copy paste this say 5 times. Okay. We will then run. So, we have some 5 paragraphs over here. Let us space it out, build and run so that we can see the paragraphs. Okay. Now, as you can see that there is no spacing between the paragraphs. Let us add some space. So, we come here and we write slash small scape. We come here and we write slash mid scape, we come here and we write big scape and we come here and we write slash v space 20 points. Let us build and run. As you can see that there is some space between the first and the second paragraph, a bit more between the second and the third, a little more between the third and the fourth. The space between the fourth and the fifth paragraph is of 20 points. We did this using the vspace command. Now, let us take a new page slash page break and write three lipsums again slash lipsum. 2 dash 2. Let me write it, say two more times and we build and run. We get these three paragraphs. Now, what if we want these paragraphs to be equally spaced out vertically on this page? It does not make sense to do this using the spacing commands we just saw. It would not only be difficult to calculate the spacing but the spacing would change if one adds more content. So, refill command comes to our rescue. Let us see it. We write slash refill 
and we come here and we write slash we fill, we build and run. There you go. The three paragraphs are spaced out equally. One would need this kind of formatting for the title page or while designing banners, posters, etcetera. Let us go back to our slides. Now, similar to vertical spacing, one can also tweak the horizontal spacing. The first command backslash adds a single space, the second command backslash comma adds a little more and so on. Usually, horizontal spacing is used while tab setting mathematics. Let us see a demo. Let us take a new page slash page break. And we write something slash latex document slash slash. We come here and we copy paste it three times. We build and run. Let us increase it for better readability. This latex document is indented. We write slash no indent command. So, that it does not indent, we build and run. Okay. As you can see that there is no spacing between the word latex and document. You may face these type of issues. To address them, we use horizontal spacing. Let us add the following. We add backslash over here, we add backslash comma here and we write slash H fill between LaTeX and document. We build and run. Notice backslash creates a single space between the words in the first line, while backslash comma creates a bit more. Observe that H fill spaces out the words LaTeX and document. Let us go back to our slides. So, now if someone asks you to typeset your document into double spacing, you know what you have to do. Similarly, if someone asks to space out the text on a certain page, you need not worry as it is quite simple and we know it, right? Thank you. Have a nice day.